What I'm trying to get at is that um, when you're on the street for a really long time, yeah and you look beat up, it's yeah. hard to get the key to the gas station bathroom. You cannot just walk into, you know, a Starbucks and get a cup of water. So, and, and oftentimes the spigots and the hoses and stuff available for someone to drink the water, they're on private property. So you're trespassing to get water and then not all water that, that you can get a hold of is potable water. Hi, my name is Elena Davis and I'm in downtown Los Angeles at the LA Mission. Foundation is delivering clean drinking water to the American homeless. After being on the street for days, weeks, months, sometimes years, words like love and hope and faith are just not words that you're thinking about because you're thinking about surviving, you're thinking about how you're going to get your next meal, you think about how you're going to stay safe, and if you're a parent, you're thinking how are you going to keep your children safe. These words are words to me that are kind of transcendent and words that connect us to something beyond our immediate environment, beyond our immediate circumstances, beyond what life might be indicating back to you. I know and I understand the feeling of not belonging and what it feels like to live on, on the fringes of society. Words can be very powerful and they can be catalysts for change. And so these words are very important, the words that are on the bottle. We take it for granted. It's, it is, it's the most basic necessity that a human being has, is water.